I just thought I wasn't good enough for anyone or for anything. I just thought, you know, like I just wasn't smart enough, I wasn't capable enough. People didn't take me seriously for a very long time. They didn't think that I had it within me to go out and do what I wanted to do. And so that weighed in on me and I began to think that I wasn't capable either. It really bogs you down and you really think that simple tasks are impossible for you. But it's once you overcome those slowly, step by step, you see that you are capable and people can take you seriously. In my first year, I had this amazing opportunity to work at a communications uh, nonprofit organization uh, over in Toronto. And I ended up being published. And you never think you're going to get published, but it's a book that other people are going to see. And I was part of something that really is going to make a big difference. And after that, I was like, oh, I can really do anything if I really think I can and if I just throw myself out there on a whim. I had a professor who spoke for three hours on how being inspired and doing what you love is the most fulfilling thing ever. And after hearing that, that's all I want to do is just run out there and grab what I love and be the best at it. Being inspired gives you that push and that drive to learn more about what it is that you'd like to do. It's an amazing feeling being able to break through barriers that you and other people set out for yourself. Once you break through, you think that the whole world is at your feet and you can do anything. And it's hard to get there. It's really hard, but once you get there, you gotta weight lift it off of your shoulders. <laughs>